Hey guys, it's Shadow Heat here. How's everyone doing today? So, for today's video, we're tackling the question of can you fly through the sun in Starfield? Really, any star in Starfield. So, the answer to that question is a simple yes. You can actually fly all the way to a star system star, or in this case, we're doing the sun and the solar system, and you can even fly right through it. Now, doing so is, uh, well, it can be a little tricky, or rather I should say it's time consuming. So as you can see here, flying through the sun, the sun is not solid at all, and it does not have any like physics to it, as in like it doesn't damage your ship, there's no like actual heat damaging your ship or anything like that. But there's more to the sun actually, and really flying through uh, other planets and stars like in this manner. So normally, even if you were to start the nearest planet to the sun, like in this case Mercury, it would take you like hours, if not probably like a whole day, to actually reach the sun by flying normally. So, to get to that point in a reasonable time, I used a mod from Nexus Mods, and it's really just a bunch of console commands uh, that make my ship super fast. Like, if I keep boosting the ship, I could actually reach like speeds faster than light. <laughs> but um. Yeah, basically, using this method, I could reach the sun in no time. And as I'm boosting through it, it still takes like a couple minutes to reach it. Uh, but I don't want to do a full boost, because if I do a full boost, uh, I won't be able to stop the ship. Like, the, the game's physics are actually surprisingly very realistic. So, when I get close enough to the star, or the sun in this case, then eventually, I actually, <laughs> that bright part just disappears and you see the sun itself. Now, I am flying at a really fast speed right now, so to slow down, I normally would have to do a flip and burn, and just basically turn the ship around and accelerate the other direction, because in space, I can't just slam on my brakes and stop where I am. It's, uh, the game is realistic in that, in that way. So as you saw there, I overshot the sun. So this time, I approached the star close enough, and I slowed down the proper way, and I continued my approach to the sun by just basically tapping the accelerator, like accelerating, and then uh, doing a little reverse thrust to slow down, yeah, it's just so I can uh, control my speed while approaching the sun, and so I don't overshoot it again. Uh, and eventually I did get uh, close enough to it where I could just kind of orbit around it or hover right above the surface. And th the sun, it's obviously not to scale. <laughs> It, uh, it would be a lot bigger than what we see here if we were this close to the sun in the ship like this. But it is, uh, it's still very cool. And actually, it's pretty impressive that uh, Bethesda actually added all these details to the sun because you're not normally supposed to fly this close to it and see this level of detail. Like, there's actually solar flares and everything. Of course, up close, uh, it, it's not very highly detailed. But the fact that there's, like, solar flares and everything coming off the sun, it's, uh, it's pretty cool. And maybe the, the sun might be used for a future, like, quest. Like, you, maybe you're actually supposed to travel to it in the future. Like, some future DLC or something. But, uh, as you can see, flying through the sun, like, diving into it, it, uh, there are actually layers to it. And in, in the center of the sun, there's, like, a little bright lens flare there as well. But, yeah, that's basically all there is to flying through the sun. Uh, it is possible without mods, but it takes a long time. One other cool thing is... When you go to this menu here, it actually shows you being at the sun. Like uh, you can see it right here, it shows the image of the sun and everything. But if I bring up the uh, the map of the star system, it shows me being at the last planet I was at, which was Mercury. It does not show me being actually at the sun. Uh, so it's a little interesting thing there. But yeah, so there you guys have it. The answer is yes, you can indeed fly through the sun. You can even just hover above it and fly around it, orbit it, whatever you want. You can explore the inside of the sun as well. It's kind of uh, interesting, like, how it works in this game. But uh, aside from that, no, you can't actually land on the sun and walk around, unfortunately. All right, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, leave a thousand comments. Let me know what else you want me to check out. And subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you all next time. Bye, guys.